so good evening everyone now it's 7 a.m. Uh, 7 p.m. Um, today I want to share with you I want to show you so something about reinforcement for the the pure gaff the most difficult thing for you to um, like to reinforce and run reinforcement for your uh, bridge model so um, for the one I want to mention that I I'm not a, a native speaker I'm not grown up in the city I was born in Vietnam, but in a small town of Vietnam, so uh, I don't have enough um, condition to study English as um, really well. So I just started learning English about three years. So I try my best to speak English. But I know that this, my pronunciations, my spelling is not good. My English is not really good, and my vo my range of vocabulary is not really good as well. But I try my best to make you understand and understand how to reinforce your bridge here so this bridge is on about it's a it um, belong to one of my students in my online courses and for bridge modeling and bridge reinforcement and drawing and shit and so many things um, animations um, photoshop um, premiere pro video editing and so on to make a really good statistics so Today I want to share with you a little bit of that, and if you want to learn all of, of, um, of the the tool, the tool, the way, the process to make a bridge and and create reinforcement for all of that, um, just please connect to me by Facebook, email, um, my fan page, my YouTube, file, and everything else you can connect to me as well. So, um, in the whole project, it's quite difficult for you to make a reinforcement and manage. It's quite difficult. So. Um, in this video, I'm gonna separate this file to another project. I'm gonna edit a family right here. This one is in this inside the family. So I got a lot to only uh, only family. This family to the another project, and then I'm gonna reinforcement for this one. Before that, before those step, please check the uh, the family category and parameter and tick to the can host rebar. Okay, and then you. Please a new project, new on new project, well, which I'm like whatever you want. I usually use the format because it's basically it's the most easiest, the most simple thing. So I'm gonna go to site. I'm gonna load the family into that, and this one I'm gonna load into the new project that I have that I just created. Okay, right here, and I put it in the center of the base point, and it's making it more easy. And then I use a space command. It's Way to to rotate ninety degrees. Um, this one is so you how to create some reinforcement. It's not about the base. It's not teach you the basic thing about create section, um, duplicate the section and everything. Um, today you're gonna create a section right here, and I'm gonna go to view. So I have the AutoCAD file right here. Um, so right here you can see. We have a pure, uh, pure calf today. Just show you how to how to reinforce for pure calf, not on the bridge. Um, so here we have some reinforcement right here. The first thing we're gonna create it um, the uh, this kind of reinforcement. This rebar is right here. So uh, to do that, we need to create and cross section. The I'm gonna turn on this one. To make it more easy, it is easier for all of you to understand. This one the family is not as well turn up on. And you go to sign, and then create one more section right here. I'm gonna cut this one. I can create. I want to align this one as well. And let's go. I go to view, and then they're here. And then I just go to st structure. I'm gonna use rebar. I'm gonna ignore the. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the uh, rebar. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the rebar cover, so you can show see the, another video, and then you can understand how to set up setting up the rebar. Uh, I'm gonna load the family rebar ship. So if you don't have the, the library for Revit 2020, 2022, you can basically download and update. This is the library US metric and go to structure rebar chef and then you lock on the, the rebar chef into Revit. And then 
it take a little bit of time for for Revit to update on this one. Okay, just wait for a moment. Okay. Uh, I have some basic right here. I'm gonna use a parallel to the plan. I'm gonna use the uh, um, the this one. I'm gonna put it right here. Just gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna edit this one. I'm gonna sketch it. I'm gonna sketch this right here. This one. On uh, this video, I just show you how to do that. I know it's not one rep one one percent one percent accurate, but I hope we c you can learn something about it from it. This one easy I'm gonna make a maximum spacing I'm gonna choose this spacing that I need to be it need to be um, flowing the AutoCAD file uh, those rowing uh, those it's two the diameter 20 and it's 150 150 and the diameter here I'm gonna edit and delicate it to be uh, 20 D20 I'm gonna change the bar diameter to be 20 and this one I'm gonna use this 20 as well and the number right here they're gonna explain this in another video about that um, I'm gonna basically I'm gonna I'm gonna let it there and then I'm gonna change later and the most difficult part of this PO cut is this part so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna go to sign I'm gonna use this one I put it right here and go to view uh, right click and go to view and then I just simply um, minimize the uh, the wrench, the view view wrench of the sections, and go to view, and then I um, just using rebar and gonna use the re reinforcements for this one, and I put it right here. If don't allow us, maybe have some problem. I'm gonna use it. parallel, parallel, par perpendicular. What plan? Um, it cannot be. We can easily move it down for a while just keep it a little bit bigger let's go to view and then let me check for again oh this one is not on the top it's rebar it's maybe the, f the cat file is have some problem for re re revit 2022 you have the the new thing is play rebar by two point um for in the auto cat file you can have you can see we have two kind of uh, start up this one and this one. I'm gonna use I'm gonna create this one first and then this another one later um, This one I'm gonna put this right here rebar You you can use a space bar to change the the position of this start up uh, Depending um, and then yes quite easy and then you go to this one and you choose this one and use a Ryan rebar set to make the kind of you pick into this one and pick into the reinforcement and maximum spacing. Yeah, it's quite easy. And then you just put it over for a Y and then yeah, it's correct. Um, for the the next part and in, in the opposite opposite point opposite side, you're gonna just easily go to. Uh, sign and then you meter use meter command hopefully it allows you to do that yes that's on and for this one you just can don't see to so go to paste back to the same play and then just move it out and not re right rebound and you pull this over extend it yeah this one is maybe 130 following the 50, 150 yeah that's on yeah and yeah that's it basic for the pure cap and if you want to turn on the 3d solic for the rebar you just select on you can choose your view the, the view that you want you like this and then you visit bbd this one in 3d view and this 3d views this one and this one is fine. This one and fine. And this one to okay. And then you're gonna go to fine. You're gonna shake. Yes, that's on. 
Oh, we missing a one one thing. Oh, where's another rebar? Have you seen we lose one rebar? This one we turn it on as well. Save it. Okay. We can easily turn this one as well. Go to find. Oh, we have some problem with the, the rebar here. If we have some problem right here, we're gonna go to side and we're gonna move the section right in into the middle. Move the section into the middle and go to view and then easily you choose the rebar and you put it back. Yeah. And that's all. Um you see where the rebar is, you need to use a wireframe and then this one you use maximum spacing is one hundred and thirty. Yeah, this one you can use a space bar to change the bending position. Yeah, just uh, one one time again. We're gonna choose a visibility. We go to pretty view and this one and this one. And okay, and go to find safe. Yeah, that's that's on. That is the, ba the basic way for you to create the reinforcement in your pier. And for th most of the p um, another part. Another part is quite easy because re for rebar in gravit is quite bad, but it's quite good because it's quite simple. You just need to cut a section. You choose the right shape of rebar to the side, the side, the right method to put the rebar in, and that's all. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you enjoy this video. And um, even though my English is not good, I'm not an native speaker, but I always try to my best to support all of you guys who are working in the industry of civil engineer, in the construction side, who are designing many things to build the world a better world. So, uh, I try to help everyone, and the little thing that I want you to support me is like the video and subscribe for the video if you like it. If you don't like it, don't bother about it. And thank you very much.